Welcome to Axis VM. In this video, we will conduct a steel design of the corner columns in the frame model discussed in the Axis VM step by step tutorial in accordance with Eurocode 3. Firstly, design parameters should be assigned to the corner columns. Click on the Design Parameters icon and then select all of the columns in the corners. Confirm the selection with OK and specify the following in the Design Parameters window. Set KY to 1.25 and select the Auto MCR method to calculate MCR. Close the window with OK. Then in the drop down menu, select Analysis NMV Axial Force Bending Shear. Select Limit States. Utilization ULS from the same drop down box. The back lower right column is not safe for the load combination because the maximum utilization, 1.131, exceeds the value of 1. This design error will be corrected by using the optimization function. Click on the lower front right column to see the results of all of the checks. Click on the Design Calculations icon to see detailed calculations which can be printed or added to the documentation setting. Close the report with OK and click OK again to close the Steel Design member window. In order to optimize the cross section of the columns and correct the design error, click on Steel Cross Section Optimization. In the window, click on the New icon to specify a new optimization group. For the group of lower columns, enter the name Lower Columns. Close with OK and select the four lower columns in the corners. Finish the selection by clicking OK and the window will show up again. In the Library tab, select the cross-section groups and add them to the list of candidates for optimization. From the list of eye shapes, select HE European Wide Flange Beams and add to the list on the left by clicking on the blue arrow between the two list boxes. Now, create another optimization group for the upper corner columns. Provide the name Upper Columns, and then select all four upper corner columns. As before, add the HE European Wide Flange Beams shape group to the list of candidates. Now set the objective of optimization to be minimum weight and set the maximum utilization to 0 0.85 for both optimization groups.
Then, by moving to the Optimization tab, the specified optimization groups and present utilizations of the cross-sections can be seen. Clicking the Optimization button will start the calculation procedure. A warning message will appear, but click on Yes to continue. When the optimization process is complete, the suggested cross-section will be displayed under the row of the current cross-section. Considering the specified parameters for optimization, the software suggests we apply the shape HE260A for the upper columns and HE400AA for the lower columns. In our example, only the lower columns will be replaced. To replace the cross-section, click on the Replace field on the row of lower columns, and then click the Replace Cross-Section icon. In the following windows, click No to keep the original file name, and then Yes to save the model. After changing the model by replacing cross-sections, the model must be saved and previous results for the static analysis will be deleted. Now on the Static tab, run a new Linear Static Analysis. Back on the Steel Design tab, check the utilization of the design members. Since every member is safe after the strengthening, the optimization can be finished. In the figure, you can see that the maximum utilization of the critical member of the lower back right corner is now 0.928 after modification. Note that this result is greater than the value that was previously set for optimization. This is due to the changes in internal forces after modifying the column cross sections. Thank you for watching. Please visit the AXIS VM website for further information and additional tutorials.